morning and welcome back to another vlog. It is currently about 7.30 and I'm on my way to Pilates but afterwards I'm meeting Pippa and we've very kindly been invited to one of my favourite coffee shops in CBD called Industry Beans to try out some of their breakfast brunch menu. So yeah, what a lovely start to the week with some Pilates and brunch. of other fruit know, and nuts fruit, pineapple yeah this this must be the yogurt then obviously <laughs> lovely and i've gone for a fig and goat cheese omelet with some sourdough very nice brunch i feel like so much has happened already this morning like my brain is swimming with thoughts and it's making me a bit worried for what the rest of this week is going to entail but i went to pilates this morning and it's my favorite class on a monday because i just love this instructor and whilst i was doing the exercises i thought to myself you know what i'm actually going to ask her if there's any jobs going at this gym because she's also a manager of it so i I plucked up the courage and went to speak to her after the class and she was so lovely about it. We ended up having about a half an hour conversation and she actually said that she would love me to be a Pilates instructor. Obviously I'm not at all qualified for that but it was a very flattering conversation because she was saying that I've got great form and I've got great body awareness and that she could just see me as an instructor, which is kind of funny because my mum is a fitness instructor, not of Pilates, but she used to teach all sorts of classes. She hasn't really done it in the last few years. But I was like, oh, I wonder if it's just in my blood somehow <laughs> to be a fitness instructor. And I love Pilates. So it kind of got me thinking, should I? should I do the qualifications? I was more asking for just general roles in the gym, you know, receptionist, cleaning, there's a cafe attached. And she seemed pretty keen on that as well. So my job for this afternoon is gonna be to update my resume and sort of tailor it to that sort of role because obviously currently it's very social media marketing focused because that's the kind of roles that I've been applying to. But for this, I need to talk more about my customer facing experience. Also this morning, I got an email through inviting me to go into the office to chat about an intern internship that I applied for. So as you guys know, I've been struggling to find corporate jobs in Australia because of the whole six month restriction on a working holiday visa. And most of the jobs I'm applying for aren't exempt from that visa. However, internships obviously tend to be for a lesser amount of time. And this one that I've applied to, for example, is only three months. So that's quite exciting. Even though most internships in Australia are actually unpaid, it's quite a good one in the sense that I think it will hopefully bridge the gap that I somewhat have between my experience doing social media content creation in this capacity and doing social media content creation for another business because I do have some experience doing that, but it's not super recent and it's not as detailed as I kind of need to progress in that field, I guess. So yeah, I feel like just a lot has happened this morning and my entire direction <laughs> has changed somewhat. Now I'm like, do I do an internship and become a Pilates instructor? There's a lot going on right now.
been one of those days where time has just moved so quickly and I don't know how it is suddenly the end of the day. I got back in probably around 12-ish and got straight to working on my resume and I also wrote a little cover letter for the gym and all of a sudden my stomach grumbles and it's half four. I'm not sure why it took me so long to update my resume to include the relevant experience but I'm glad that I've done it because what I did is I basically added in a lot of my old hospitality and retail experience that I've taken off in recent years because it's not really relevant to anything I've been applying to but now it's more relevant for these customer focused roles like the one would be at the gym and it's useful that I have added it back in because realistically in the next few weeks I probably am going to have to start looking at more hospitality based roles just judging off my current look with corporate jobs. I then had a super early dinner at half past four and I've just been chilling since but I know because I've had dinner so early I'm gonna be hungry in a few hours time so I thought I would actually just go to the supermarket and get myself a little sweet treat. Specifically I've been having so many conversations recently for some reason about hot crust buns because all of a sudden the Australian supermarkets seem to be full of hot crust buns but they're really interesting here like there's one for example that's been sold out every time I try to look for it that has lotus biscoff spread inside the hot crust bun. There's also hot crust buns with sprinkles. rather disappointing. The only exciting hot crust buns I managed to find were these Cadbury milk chocolate chip ones and I'm not even a massive fan of Cadbury's in Australia because their chocolate tastes different here and I read somewhere actually the other day that the reason it tastes different is because there's something in it that means it doesn't melt as quickly as chocolate in the UK. But anyway, I still thought I'd give them a go because I've never seen a chocolate hot crust bun before. But look how nice those look. I'm thinking I'm gonna toast it and have it with a bit of butter. The whole thing is basically fallen apart and melted in the toaster. Wasn't really a good idea to put chocolate <laughs> in the toaster, but that is good. Mmm. There's like a little bit of saltiness from the butter that goes so nicely. is crazy so I think this morning I'm gonna head to a cafe and do some job applications from there because I cannot focus in this flat when it's this hot because we don't have any kind of air conditioning apart from a single fan and when I open the windows this wide 
it's so noisy outside. So I'm thinking if I just have a few focus hours this morning, then at least I'll have done something today and then I can spend the rest of the day maybe just vegging out in the park. I have booked Pilates though for midday, which is like the worst time for me to be walking around. So maybe I'll get the bus to that, but I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. outside right now so I'm sorry if you can hear the rain and there's also cockatoos <laughs> very Australian background noise but it is now almost six o'clock I have spent the entire afternoon pretty much trying to get Taylor Swift tickets because she's coming to Melbourne and Sydney in the next week and today there was actually a release of some tickets for it like official tickets so i've pretty much spent all afternoon sat in the waiting rooms for those tickets and not getting any <laughs> so that's been kind of unfulfilling but it's actually pancake day today so pippa's on her way around now and we're gonna make some pancakes this afternoon to cheer ourselves up because neither of us got taylor tickets and just for a bit of fun because who doesn't love Pancakes. Pancake <laughs> one is going really well. <laughs> it's an Austrian delicacy. <laughs> yeah, what is it? Kaiser Schmarrn. Is that how you say Kaiser it? Kaiser Schmarrn. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> I love scrambled pancake. <laughs> the first one always is a bit dodgy. True. We've got the fact check up. Kaiser Schmarrn. Yeah. We just don't have any apple sauce, but it's fine. Apple is so much confidence. Okay. Well, <laughs> yeah, but I don't think we'd be too happy about that. It's now a little pile. No, it's not. Okay. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Why does it have so many holes in it, though? You're not going to oh, enjoy no. that one. <laughs> that, that already makes my hair stand on end. But you want me to take this one? Yeah, I think so. That just gives me the fear. <laughs> Yeah. Why is it so holy? Please ignore the drilling outside if it starts again. It's so noisy. Oh yeah, there we go. It's just drilling all the time at the moment, but I had to give you a quick update because it's currently about midday on Wednesday and I just had an impromptu 20 minute interview over the phone for an internship paid internship that I applied to a few weeks ago. And yeah, I saw the number come through on my phone. It was an Australian number. And I was like, I should probably answer this because it's probably a job that I've applied for. And yeah, we just did a little interview over the phone, which was kind of a bit stressful because I hadn't really prepared for it. But I think it went really well, actually. I'm really happy with how I answered everything given the fact that it was so on the spot and she said that she'd be in touch by the end of the week so maybe that's something now very exciting because I loved the sound of that job when I applied to it like I love the sound of the company and what I would be marketing and that's more of a general marketing role as opposed to just social media content creation which is what the other internship is for but I guess we shall see. I've now potentially got two internships. Maybe I could do both of them, although that would be quite a lot. My plan for this afternoon is to actually go and find a workwear outfit because now that I've got these interviews coming up, I've realized I don't actually have anything appropriate to wear for them because when I was packing for Australia, I only brought one suitcase of clothes with me anyway and none of that was workwear because it wasn't really my plan to be interviewing for jobs here. So yeah, I need to go buy myself just some basic workwear, I think. But also I do want to invest in something that's good quality and just a good basic to have in my wardrobe anyway so I'm thinking a wide leg pair of black trousers and then some kind of nice top because then even if I don't get the rolls it's just a good basic outfit to have for situations like this when I'm interviewing or I just need to be dressed a bit more formally I guess so yeah I'm gonna get changed and I'm gonna head to Westfield Bondi because it's just a nice a shopping experience I think there as opposed to in CBD.
and this is the outfit that I've managed to put together for my interview on Monday. So I found these black wide leg trousers in a shop called Glassons, which I think is an Australian store. I've never seen it anywhere else. I was super tempted by the ones that I tried on in cos but they were so expensive and the pleat at the front kind of folded weirdly when i moved and i feel like if i was to justify spending that much money on a pair of trousers they would need to fit perfectly so for now these ones will do just fine once again sorry about the drilling and then i couldn't find a top that i really liked or i thought was appropriate so for now i've gone with this t-shirt this actually is from cos and it's super nice quality not see-through at all has this thicker neckline and thicker cuff on the sleeves which i feel like makes it look more structured and more put together so I feel like this with my sambas probably is surely a perfectly acceptable outfit for an internship interview. I don't know why it's suddenly so dark in this apartment, but I've just put some random clothes on because I'm going to do a quick clean of the apartment. Sid actually gets back this evening, which is so exciting. I'm so excited to see him. He's been gone for two weeks, which has felt like so long, but has also gone so quickly at the same time. And because it's just been me... Oh my god, the cockatoos. And because it's just been me in the apartment for the last two weeks, I thought it'd be nice to do a little clean of it so he's not coming back to my mess after two weeks. He also cleaned up for me when I came back from New Zealand and it was just so nice to come back to a fresh, clean apartment. I washed all the towels and all the sheets the other day. So to be honest, it's not too bad. All I really need to do is wipe down surfaces. I wanna do quite a deep clean of the kitchen and move the floor. Apart from that, it's actually not too bad. I've kept it pretty clean. <laughs> Who's back from his voyage? <laughs> missed you. I missed you too. I That's haven't well. actually said where you went. Do you want to explain what you've been doing for the last two weeks? Well, I just went up the East Coast on a very expedited trip, but yeah, no. Expedited? What does that mean? Like quick. Oh. I think. Yeah, it was quite fast paced. It was just in two weeks. Yeah, you well. did the entire East Coast in two weeks. Yeah, it was very different. I wasn't actually doing like the tours and things like that yeah. as much. I was more going and chatting to people. Anyway. So I don't think I've actually mentioned this in a vlog before what Sid does for work. I mean, a lot of you know already, but he is the director of an Australian travel agency. So he was going up the East Coast to meet with suppliers and tour providers. Supervisor, if you want to travel the East Coast, it's my adventure project. So, <laughs> Little go. plug for the end of the vlog. Of course. I'm just repainting my nails, so excuse the mess. I kind of just willy-nilly paint them and then tidy them up afterwards. But I just thought I would do a little concluding clip to this vlog because it feels like a lot has happened this week and I can't remember what updates I've given. If you watched last week's vlog, you'll know that I did an interview last week for a full-time social media exec position and I've been waiting on a response to that and an update on my next steps all week and they finally phoned me today to say that they want to schedule another interview with me which is likely to be next week and likely to be in person somewhere in a cafe. So that's very exciting. I have my internship interview scheduled for Monday next week and then the only one I'm still waiting to hear back on is the other <laughs> internship so I'm just waiting to hear whether I've got an interview for that and if I do that's probably likely to be next week too so essentially next week is looking like quite a busy and quite an important week. Oh, and maybe I'll become a Pilates instructor. <laughs> anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this week's vlog. 
Make sure to like and subscribe if you have. Follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok for more daily updates. And I'll see you next week for lots of exciting but scary interviews. <laughs>